swag, bitch. Hey there guys, as you can see in the title, it says 3.7 liter EVAP canister. Well, it is either a carbon or a charcoal canister. What happens with these canisters is it regulates your gas mileage. So this one was going bad. As you can hear, it's half empty. This one's a lead brick, you can barely hear it even shake. This one's the brand new one for 60 bucks out of the junkyard because these usually do not go bad. Um, basically what happened was this one had a hole in it and started leaking out the one day so I taped it up and then I did resin today because I needed a new one because I filled up my truck two days ago and it ate a whole tank of gas in two days and I was only driving 13 miles and 13 miles back so 13 13 and then 13 13 so I replaced it for $65 usually these are a hundred and $55 brand new online, but if you have to order from a company, it is usually $300 to $350 usually. Um, so basically, I am just recording of what they look like outside, what sort of new looks like, and what old will look like. Um, Alright, I will be showing you guys how to put these on in two seconds. Okay there guys, so basically what I'm about to show you is how to put your EVAP canister back inside here. So this is your gas tank right here. This is where your uh, carbon canister goes, your, uh, your what is it called, uh, well, EVAP canister, carbon canister, or uh, creosote canister. This holds your gas thing so it doesn't burn your gas mileage. So if your gas mileage is shit, this would probably be it. So you have two inserts right here. These two plugs are going to go exactly like the way it is shown here, straight into there. So you put these two up to here like this, I'm trying to record this and do this is two different processes. So you're going to want to hold it up to there like that, get one of them in or something. But you have to remember there is also a bolt hole. It's going to be a little bit of a pain to get one of them or two of them in there. Give me one second here, and I'll shut the recording off and put you guys back to where you can see. All right, so as you guys see here, there are three hoses that go into here. This big one goes into your EVAP pump. Your EVAP pump's going to go on the top one. I didn't put the bolt in yet. This one, this is the usual one that gives you the uh, sensor code in your truck. This hose will go bad eventually, but I have a plastic line now for it. That one goes over the bottom. This one goes uh, directly into the intake, as you can see there. But this EVAP pump puts the uh, morph canister of the fuel. It's a, it's a whole different complicated system. But uh, basically your three hoses go in there like exactly like that. They are a little bit of a complication to get on there, but it's just a short little video to show you that if you are having gas mileage problems, this would be your problem right here. Um, there is no cover shield from what I understand, so if you hit like sticks or something, you will puncture a hole in this. I punctured mine right here on the old one, so that is right next to the frame, which I don't understand how. It might have been a crack and then just broke, but um, this one's very tough, but they're usually filled with creosote or charcoal, as I'm presumed. Well, as I say. Um, so as you guys see, I have a pretty clean underneath, which is why I'm trying to get it lifted before anything else happens. Well, yeah, it's it's a cool truck. I love it. I love this truck. But um, you guys um, here and I got an Allen transmission, which is nice. I just put that in. Make them black. A little puffer than usual transmission. So yeah. All right, let me get this thing in there, and then um, you guys can get on with your day, and hopefully install your own. Uh, it is a 3.7 liter. They do change the years um, of these of uh, with the 3.7 liters. It's an basically it's anywhere from 01 to 04. Mine's an 04. These are not interchangeable between the 5.7 liter, the 4.7 liter, or the eight, the uh, 4.7 liter or the 3.9 Magnum. They are not interchangeable. You could slide them onto this. There were zip ties on this one. I have to put zip ties back on that one just because 
is, but it is a tight fit. They're going on pretty decent right now, but they have to go all the way on. Just remember that. So, um, yeah, when I put the nut on, uh, that, uh this will be done for the night. Alrighty, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you out in your little process or little job or work, whatever you had to do. And I hope you guys have a wonderful and beautiful night. In the video you just watched, I have a, it's either called an evap canister, a charcoal canister, or a carbon canister. It's three different names for it. I will say this right now. If you live anywhere where you have retards working at AutoZone or fucking Pep Boys or even Advanced Auto, because I know there's AutoZone and Advanced Auto, that motherfucker's said, oh, well, this, this, this doesn't exist. How the hell are you going to tell me a charcoal canister or evap canister or even a goddamn carbon canister doesn't exist when I'm looking at the part online and I gave you the part number? How are you going to tell me it does not exist? I was very, very angry with AutoZone, Pep Boys, and... Advanced Auto. Napa, however, Napa, I will say, I have always had good reviews from Napa, and I will always be giving them good reviews. They can tell you every goddamn thing about a car, because they have the old people working in there, not these young-ass kids that don't know jack shit. No offense. No, it's my own generation, or a little bit older than me, but if you don't work, if you work at an auto parts store, you think you would know a little bit about some about cars. Like, the fuck? Like, I grew up working in cars, so I no, didn't do my shit. But, um, no. This evap canister, well, this car, it's called a carbon canister. I'll just use the proper name for it. It is usually $155 online, depending on what year you use. I know mine is the 3.7 liter 2004. So, they said, so mine is different. You can only use the years from 03 to 04. Because apparently they have two different, two different, three different hoses. So, as the one video you saw on there where the hose is connected to another hose, that is because it was set up for a different canister. So that's the canister I had to get. But I don't, I don't know exactly. It's very easy to replace. It's one bolt and just pushing tabs. So it's like two pushing tabs and then one little bolt to screw on, and then you're good. But basically, no. I filled up my truck on a Monday, and I was on full. Well, I drove it once to work, once back from work, once to work, once back from work, and I was already, like, on a quarter of a tank. So I was like, okay, my evap can my carbon canister is really bad now. I must get it replaced because this is going to cost me more in gas than it is to keep it even, keep it going on the road. So... That is one of the um, engine codes it'll give off if you're getting too much airflow inside your gas or anything. So I did that replaced. Um, it's a very easy process. It's very simple. A freaking idiot could do it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys uh, replace your own or if you get anything to do. Um, I figured out they do. they do have like three different systems in there that could... Uh, show off the evap code sensor which is the evap pump the carbon canister any of the hoses are torn and then there's another part considered in the front engine bay it's like right by your intake area so um, I will hopefully be doing a diagnostic on that and showing you guys that but um, if not you guys can always look at another YouTube video and help yourselves out um, this should uh, be able to give you guys a little bit of direction of where to go. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys, um, work on your own vehicles. <laughs> Have a great day. Peace.